Hello and welcome to SOAP UI tutorial. So in this tutorial we are going to learn how you can execute your test case, test suite and SOAP UI project through command line. So in last tutorial we have seen that you can use the SOAP UI graphical user interface to execute your test cases um, but uh, you can also execute your test cases, test suite and all the test suite in a project through command line. Let's see how you can execute these test cases, test suite and the test suite in project through command line. So the first thing to understand when you are doing the command line execution is to get to know about the test runner dot bat or dot sh file. So let me open the nodes here so these are the um, this is the batch file or the shell file if you're using the Linux or Mac system so if you have installed in Linux or Mac OS then it will be a shell file or if you're using the Windows then that will be the batch file now this is the runner file that we'll be using in uh, command line execution now where this runner file is, it's basically in the bin directory of the SOAP UI install, uh, SOAP UI uh, installation directory. So to find this location, it's pretty um, simple and straightforward. We'll go to SOAP UI and let's, for example, let's select a project here and then go to the project and click on launch test runner. Okay. And just launch it. So we are not trying to run um, the test case here. We'll just launch it and then we'll cancel it. Okay. Now here, if you see, so it doesn't matter whether you're, whether you're working on Windows or Mac or Linux, once you launch, you will be able to figure out that the directory where this test runner is. So basically you can see the directory. This is the directory where my SOAP UI application installed and this testrunner.bat or dot shell is in the bin directory of this location okay so now we have got the location where we need to go and run this command to execute so that's the first step to basically figure out where the testrunner.sh or testrunner.bat is so if you are on windows you just figure out the directory that is displayed here and because i am on mac so i'll copy this location and go to that particular location in the terminal so I've already went into that particular location if I do present working directory you can see that I'm in applications SOAP UI contents resources app and bin if I list all the directories here if you're working on Windows you will just say dir um, and here you see that I have testrunner.sh file here okay so I'm in the correct directory now I'll clear the screen now the next step is to basically form your command to run the um, test cases or um, test suite or the whole project through command line now here if you see on this test runner as well there is a command that it auto formats when you do your selection okay so based on your selection it automatically creates that particular um, command but we won't directly copy and paste it. What we'll do is we'll try to understand how you can form your own um, command and execute the test case suite or project depending what you want to execute from command line. So let me open the notepad and I'll explain you some of the key concept here. So on this particular notepad, if you see that this is for the free edition, so these three commands are for the free edition and then Pro version of SOAP UI has a lot more features, for example, generating the report. So let's cover the free edition uh, features first. So the first step is to start with the testrunner.sh or testrunner.bat. If you're on Windows, you just type in testrunner.bat after going to that particular location. Now the next is the argument. So if you see minus F here, minus F is the argument which indicates the location where you want to save the reports okay so this is the folder that you specify to save the reports and then another argument is minus c which is for the test case in this particular project that you have saved 
so you specify the test case that you want to run and specify the name in the quotes name of the test case in the quotes and then the name uh, the whole location of the file or the project file that you have saved so from the soap ui say for example you want to run test cases for this demo project i'll close this window and close this one as well so just right click and save the project so save project as and save the project in the location where you, from where you want to um, or any location uh, where you want to uh, save this particular project file so once this file is saved in the command line you have to specify the location of this project file okay so the first line here or the first command here will basically run a test case which is with the name tc2 in the project asana demo test soap ui project.xml file so if i go to this project you hear asana demo test project and here we have end-to-end -end test case demo and this is the test case that will get executed when we run this particular command so let's go to the command line and copy and paste this command and execute it so i'll directly copy it and paste in the console here okay so now testrunner.sh the folder location which is the location of the folder where the reports will get saved if i open this um, folder here so you can see uh, soap ui reports here the reports will be saved let me clean this all reports I'll move all of them to bin okay and now the folder is empty and then the name of the test case and then the project xml location okay if you run this enter and now it will test case runner will start and it will start executing the test case too so there will be some error um, there are some exceptions just ignore that because we are using the um, free version uh, and there will be some of the uh, classes that might be missing but we'll still run the test case now you can see the tc2 finished with the status finished and it will show you the time okay so that's basically how you run the test case in soap ui in um, through command line in the soap ui project now if you want to execute your test suite the command will be a bit different the only difference will be so uh, minus f folder will still remain same the only difference will be in terms in uh, the place of minus c because you are choosing the test case you need to choose the suite so just minus lowercase s and the name of the test suite okay so if you see here the name of the test suite is end-to-end -end test case demo or sample test so if you provide any of the name here test suite name that will be the the test cases in that particular test suite will get executed so if i copy this and go to the command line i clear these logs here and paste it so now in this case both the ex test cases which are below this end-to-end -end test case demo will get executed so tc1 and tc2 will both get executed just hit enter the execution will start and once the execution is finished both the test cases will be executed and will be available in the runner so you can see here okay yeah so you can see that uh, there are some failures which might be the assertion failure but if you scroll up you will be able to see that um, sorry the execution has happened for both of the test cases right so here you can see tc1 okay finished running tc tc1 and then you can see finished running tc2 so both of these test cases have been executed in the test suite run now the third option is to execute all the test cases in a project okay so in that case you don't need to pass any argument neither the test case neither the test suite if you don't pass any argument and just pass the location of the project file so pure project file it will execute all the test cases present in that particular project file so i'll copy the location and i'll clear logs and then paste paste the location uh, paste the command 
and just enter and now it will execute all the test suite all the test cases and all the test suite below that particular project so if you see here in soap ui so it will execute the test case create new project as well as tc1 and tc2 so every test suite which is below this asana demo project will get executed when you run this command okay now the next thing to understand here is that if you're using the pro version okay in the pro version you will be getting a lot more options so for example you can choose the report styles for example if you choose the argument minus minus r and then you can choose the report style whatever report style so there are certain supported style and then you can also uh, choose the style as pdf or xml so if you go to the documentation here uh, in the SOAP, soap ui documentation so uh, you will see the functional test in the test runner command line argument you will see all the details that um, are supported for the command line execution so we have discussed a very few out of these but you can go through these you know command line arguments and in these arguments what you will see is that there are some which are supported for the pro only for example e is supported for the pro and then for uh, reporting you will see that these are the reports supported so for example j unit style html report or test case report or data export these are supported only in the pro version so you go through this documentation and there are certain examples as well which are sort of similar which we discussed and try to um, get uh, uh, well you know like acquainted with all of these arguments and uh, try to practice using different combination of the argument to get uh, a lot more comfortable with the command line execution so that's pretty much about um, the command line execution in soap ui it's pretty simple easy if you follow the steps and um, just know a little bit of concept then you'll be very easily be able to format uh, the queries or the command lines and pass the arguments that you need to run the uh, test case test suite or the project in uh, command uh, soap ui project in command line so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching